the creator by his authority gives forth life's vitality to seemingly static things so they never disappear or vanish he gives the instinct to multiply to all living things so they never disappear their survival principles and laws pass from generation to generation all of this given by the creator of authority to micro and macro levels is not confined and not constrained to any form he commands the workings of the universe he holds sovereignty over life and death he makes all things move to serve him he controls mountains rivers and lakes he rules all things and gives them all they need All of this done by the Creator Manifestation amongst all things does not last just for one lifetime. It's eternal and shall never cease or rest. It can never falter, never be damaged. No man or thing can ever change it. No man or thing can ever add to it. And no man or thing can ever diminish it All of it shown by the Creator Bye.
Of all mankind. 
Barnett's work. The environment is hostile. Men's quality is so poor. The work of the last days is especially hard. Yet the appropriate outcome will be reached at the end of this world.
the flesh is Living in a human hell And without God's chastisement and judgment Like Satan, man's unclean as well Only through chastisement and judgment God can man awaken Despise his own flesh Despise the evil Satan You should know God's chastisement and judgment is the lie God's judgment is the light of man's salvation And know that God's judgment is man's best grace and protection There is no greater blessing There is no greater blessing If man wishes to be cleansed Change to his disposition If he desires a life of meaning And to fulfill his duty as God's creature He must accept God's chastisement and judgment And not let discipline depart him can free himself from Satan So God's light he can live in You should know God's chastisement and judgment is the light Know that God's judgment is the light of man's salvation And know that God's judgment is man's best grace and protection there is no greater blessing There is no greater blessing God's discipline frees man From the influence of Satan It frees him from his own world So he may live in the light of God's presence There is no better salvation There is no better salvation There is no better salvation Than judgment and chastisement You should know God's chastisement And judgment is the light Know that God's judgment Is the light of man's salvation and know that God's judgment is man's best grace and protection There is no greater blessing There is no greater blessing Except His judgment Except His judgment Live in the light of God Except His judgment Accept his judgment, live in the light of God. During God's work salvation he will save all those he can save and to the greatest text impossible and he will discard no one but all those who are unable to 
change their disposition or to obey God completely become objects for punishment All who accept the conquering of words will have many chances for salvation God's salvation will show
If one has no room for salvation, God will cast them aside. He is slow to punish, since he wants to save all those who can't be saved. Enlightens, guides people Using only words Not striking them down with a rod Using words to say Is the purpose, meaning Of this final stage of work God's refinement The more people's hearts love God It benefits them in life To have torment in their hearts They'll be at peace before God And become closer with Him they can see God's supreme love and His supreme salvation.
in his heart that all he possessed was bestowed by God and not by his own hand. He did not see blessings as things to take advantage of, but held on to the way that he should keep. As his guide to living, Job never reveled or wildly delighted because of the blessings God bestowed, nor ignored God's way or forgot the grace of God because of blessings he often enjoyed Job cherished God's blessings giving thanks for them but he did not indulge in them nor search for You lack the self-knowledge of Paul Always needing to be chastised You need judgment to awaken Chastisement is best for your lives And when it is necessary Then there has to be chastisement Of the arrival of the facts For then you will fully submit Without being chastised and cursed you would refuse bowing your head You'd be unwilling to submit If there's no facts, there's no effect You are given protection today Because you're chastised, cursed and judged You are given protection today Because you have suffered so much if not, you'd have become depraved God doesn't mean to give you a hard time Man's nature is firmly entrenched For man's disposition to change That's 
how it must be. You are worthless and too lowly without chastisement and judgment. It would be hard to conquer you. Your unrighteousness couldn't be suppressed. Your old nature's deeply rooted. If you were placed upon a throne, the height of heaven and earth's depth, you'd have no clue nor where to go. You don't even know where you're from. How could you know the Creator without today's timely judgment? Your last day would have long appeared. Long appeared.、Yeah. You are given protection today because you're chastised, cursed, and judged. You are given protection today because you have suffered so much. If not, you'd have become depraved. God doesn't mean to give you a hard time. Man's nature is firmly entrenched for man's disposition to change. That's how it must be. Without this timely chastisement, your fate would surely be at risk. And who knows how arrogant and how degenerate you would be? You are unable to control and to reflect upon yourselves. Judgment has brought you to today and has preserved your existence. You should do better to accept judgment and chastisement today. What other choices do you have? Than to submit and be this way, be this way. You are given protection today because you're chastised, cursed, and judged. You are given protection today because you have suffered so much. If not, you'd have become depraved. God doesn't mean to give you a hard time. Man's nature is firmly entrenched for man's disposition to change. That's how it must be. That's how it must be. From age to age, the work of God differs. If you show obedience now, but show less in the next phase, or even none at all, then God will desert you. If you take the step with God, you must take the next step too. Only then can you be one who obeys the Holy Spirit. As a believer in God, you must always obey. You can't just obey as you please, for this God does not approve.
innocent light Walking in this light The Spirit works in you Those who don't practice this way Become lost and lifeless So in the transformation of your disposition with the present life. God's work is to supply you through His words. Obey and accept them and the Spirit will work in you. He works in a way that I myself speak. Do as I say and the spirit will work promptly in you
Through 
believe in God, you must obey Him. Practice the truth and fulfill all your duties. Oh. Must understand the things you should go through if you just go through judgment and discipline. Oh, oh, oh. But you can't tell when God is dealing with you or disciplining you, then this won't do at all. It's not enough to stand through refinement in one case. Should keep on moving, keep on moving. Hey, loving God goes on endlessly. Whoa, whoa, hey, it's a lesson without boundary. The more wonderful God's work is in man, the more valuable. Suffering, love for God grows. God's might is seen more in man. But when God's refining is less upon man, poorer is his love. Weaker God's power in him. Oh, oh, oh. The greater his refinement, pain and torment. More deeply he will love God. Love God more genuine his faith in God will be more deeply he will know God he will know God hey loving God goes on endlessly whoa whoa hey it's a lesson without boundary the more wonderful God's word i
Remake mankind, a mankind 